Third Way Intermediate, Fourth Edition, by John and Liz Sauls, published in copyright, Oxford University Press, 2009. CD3 Unit 9, Tape Script 9.1 Billy's Story, Speaker 1 I'd organise a school day which tried to educate everyone about bullying and I'd invite social workers, police and psychologists. Speaker 2 I'd get my dad to speak to those... Ugh! If I was older, I'd speak to them myself. Speaker 3 I'd ask Billy to try to understand the bullies. I'd get all the parents to meet together. Speaker 4. I'd move house so we could change his school and start again somewhere new. Speaker 5. I'd get really angry and bang the bullies' heads together. Speaker 6. I'd run away. Tape script 9.2. If they'd listened to him, they'd have understood. If his father had stayed, Billy might have felt happier. If he'd talked to us, we could have helped him. He should have come to us a long time ago. Tape script 9.3 1. If they'd understood, he wouldn't have run away. 2. If he'd gone to kid care, he could have talked about his problems. 3. If he hadn't left, Billy might have felt more secure. 4. If they hadn't threatened him, he wouldn't have run away. Tape script 9.4. You're an idiot. 1. I went walking in the mountains for three days with no food or equipment. You're an idiot. You could have died. You could have starved to death or died of cold. 2. I didn't feel like going to work, so I phoned in sick. I went shopping instead. You're such an idiot. Your boss might have seen you. You could have got the sack. 3. I had a temperature of 102, but I went out dancing all night. That's so stupid. You could have been really ill. You should have gone to bed. 4. I told Sally I couldn't see her, then went out to the pub with Danielle. That was a really dumb thing to do. Sally might have seen you in the pub. 5. I used to be really good at tennis. I was an under-14 champion. But then I gave it all up. That's such a shame. You might have been a champion. You might even have won Wimbledon. Tape script 9.5. A social conscience. 1. I was in the bank the other day and waiting in a queue. I just reached the front of the queue when this guy jumped in front of me and said, I just need to ask a quick question. I wasn't very happy. And I hate making a scene, so I let him. But then it started taking ages. He looked back at me and grinned. He was so pleased with himself, and I was just furious. What could I do? I said nothing. Two. I was in the park, right, and there was this woman with three kids. She'd obviously had a bad day, yeah? She'd just been shouting at the kids for messing around. One of the kids, the eldest boy, about eight, bumped into his little sister and knocked her over. The mother turned on this kid, the boy, and she hit him really hard. I went over to her and told her to stop. She told me to mind my own business and said some very rude words and stormed off, screaming at the poor boy. He was just a kid. Three. My neighbour always lets his dog do his, you know business right by my front door and I always clean it up 
day after day because it just stinks. So the other day I asked him if he could get his dog to do its business somewhere else or could he pick it up because I didn't like it right by my front door. He was absolutely horrible and said he'd put it in my letterbox from now on. So I suppose I'll just carry on picking it up. What else can I do? 4. I was on the bus the other day. There was just me and a couple of kids. These two kids had their feet on the seat in front of them, so I asked them to put their feet down. These kids, they must have been about 16 or 17, came over to me, pushed me onto the floor and started kicking me. I've got bruises everywhere. I've only just been able to walk again. Five. I was walking down the street coming home from work about ten at night. It was dark and this guy jumped out of nowhere and said, give me your wallet and phone. He had a knife which he had right up against my nose. I didn't say anything. I was just terrified. I thought he was going to kill me. I just handed over both and he ran away. I was trembling for ten minutes. I couldn't move. I've never been so frightened in all my life. Tape script 9.6. Spoken English. 1. Alice isn't here. She's just gone. 2. I'm sorry I'm in a bad mood. I'm just tired, that's all. 3. I just love your new coat. 4. I've just finished the most wonderful book. You must read it. 5. I don't want any wine, just a glass of water, please. 6. John's so generous. I think he's just amazing. 7. Who's coming tonight? Just me. 8. Hold on a minute, I'm just going to the loo. Tape script 9.7. Dealing with money. One. Here's your bill. Thank you. Is service included? No, it isn't. I hope you enjoyed your meal. Two. How much is a standard room? Fifty-five pounds per night. Does that include everything? Three. I'll pay for the tickets with my MasterCard. Can you give me your number? Four. Could you give me the balance on my account? Sure. Tell me your account number. Five. Can I have a gin and tonic and two glasses of white wine, please? Sure. That's £14.50. Thank you. And here's your change. 50p. Tape script 9.8. One. Here's your bill. Thank you. Is service included? No, it isn't. I hope you enjoyed your meal. It was lovely, thank you. Can you put in your PIN number and then press Enter? And here's your card and your receipt. Thanks. That's for you. That's very kind of you. I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Two. How much is a standard room? £55 per night. Does that include everything? That includes the room for two people, but it doesn't include breakfast. That's extra, is it? Yes, I'm afraid it is. But the £55 does include VAT. Three. I'll pay for the tickets with my MasterCard. Can you give me your number? 5484 6922 3171 2435. What's the expiry date? 0912. And the start date? 1007. And the three digit security number on the back? 721. 4. Could you give me the balance on my account? Sure. Tell me your account number. 4033 2614 7900. Bear with me one moment. 
The current cleared balance on that account is £542.53 in credit. Five. Can I have a gin and tonic and two glasses of white wine, please? Sure. That's £14.50. Thank you. And here's your change. 50p. Thanks. Uh, how much did I give you? I think you've made a mistake. Sorry? I think you must have made a mistake. I gave you £20, but you've given me change for 15 No, I don't think so. Well, I'm pretty sure I gave you a £20 note. Oh, did you? Ah, sorry about that. Here you are. Thanks.